Is that stunning or what? So, Troy, you're uh, learning a little bit more about this this morning with our good friend, Dr. Sky. I am. You know, if you want to know about anything happening up in the heavens, you talk to Dr. Sky, and he's in here with us this morning. Good to see you. Thank you for good, being here. Good morning. It. Good to see you, Troy. So, this moon is pretty super. This is absolutely spectacular. And as I've been watching the buildup here on Fox 10 this morning, not since 1948, 68 years ago, have we had a moon this close. So, if anybody missed it, which obviously they shouldn't, tonight's even better. You won't see this again, Troy, until probably around Thanksgiving of 2034. So mark that in your calendar. Oh, wow. 18 years from I'm the future. I hope I'm still here. You will be. Yeah, so um, yes. uh, it's because the moon is closer to yes. Earth, correct? Exactly. And in these illustrations here, you can see on the left here, this would be a considerable smaller or apogee moon. Okay. And the real term, if you really get scientific about it, it's not really supermoon, it's called perigee moon. Oh. But this early in the morning, I'll stick with Supermoon. Yeah, Supermoon's just to be got safe. a little better ring to it. It sure does. And you can see the much larger size. So how close does it get? About 221,000 miles okay. to the Earth, which is very close to the all-time record. So if you missed it tonight, or if you missed it early this morning, I should say, tonight, if you look into the east, in exactly 604, the moon rises just to the left of East Troy, and you'll be able to see this even more spectacular. So in the pictures that you have, yeah. This is what you want Let's to do. Let's take this folks. full screen, guys, so people can get a, get a look at this. Absolutely. Again. What you want to do, Troy, and everybody watching, is you want to position yourself right just to the left of the east. It actually is in what they call 72 degrees if you look at the compass. Okay. So just left of east. At 604, you're going to see this majestic moon rise, just like the Fox 10 cameras showed it setting. Mm -hmm. But tonight is a really good opportunity because the moon is still full, it's still spectacular. And all the people out there who might have missed the opportunity, they're just watching now. So it's still, I mean, You'll it's still pretty it. super. It's, it's super, not the, super. the closest, right. closest, but it's still pretty darn close. Absolutely. It's absolutely spectacular. You'll see it good. Here's an illustration, too, of the moon as it's rising. So this type of effect is what you should be able to see with the naked eye. But again, with everybody out there, Troy, with digital cameras, you just have like a, a whole feast of, yeah, of opportunities. So look at that. It's spectacular. And what's really interesting, Troy, this isn't confirmed. But yesterday, we had two major earthquakes on the Earth. Mm. And some geologists and astronomers, they've said this before. University of Tokyo has said there's a distinct link between this type of perigee moon and the, you know, the incidence of having earthquakes. Because so, of the gravity. Absolutely. Because the moon affects our tides. It, it pulls sure our does. Ocean it up. does so, an, an so amazing amount it? of tidal you know, differences. So I want to remind people, that if they want to learn much more about this, on our KTAR Dr. Sky show, go to KTAR.com. The Dr. Sky blog explains this in all great detail. Always great. Always info. a pleasure. Always great seeing you, Thank Dr. You, Sky. Thank you, Troy. All you right. Bet. Keep your so, eyes to the sky. It, it, it's still, uh, it's still <laughs> super tonight.